parents, the Doherty County School System tried to ensure as many kids as possible were present the first day of school, and those steps seem to have paid off. We're happy to report from estimates from principals this year. We hope to be up a couple of percentage points from last year. Day two showed the next hurdle to tackle is the transportation system. Jasmine Rollins says her son, five-year-old Demetrius Daniels, did not get off the bus until almost 6 p.m. Monday night. I was concerned not only because he's a special needs student, but just because it was almost 6 o'clock and they elementary school get out of school, they get out of class at 2.30. Rollins says she could not get a hold of the bus driver before she was told her son was taken to the house they lived in two years ago. Although it's impossible to promise incidents like these will never happen again, Harder says communication, like filling these transportation forms out every year, is key in preventing these problems. Communication is the key to, to success in, in most of our operations and in transportation even more so. Harder says as a parent he understands the fear these situations cause and the DCSS is working to make sure the lines of communication between the bus drivers and school system are clear. Rollins says she understands accidents happen but parents need to speak up for their children. They have to be their kids voice. You know they the kids can't speak for themselves. They have they have to be their kids voice. Colby Gallagher Fox 31 News.